pivot table is a very powerful tool for analytics in Excel. Let's use a simple example to illustrate how useful it is. I have here a bunch of data. Basically, they are about the sales for two items. One is called Azure and the other called Peach. And uh, they are sold currently in three markets, Atlanta, Boston, and Chicago. And we have three months worth of data in January, February, and uh, March. Now the questions are, what are the sales trends for the two products? And what can we say about the popularity of each in these three regions? Now just, just looking at the data, you can't really see much in terms of answering the question. But if you build a pivot table, it'll allow you to aggregate or slice the data the way you want in order to answer those questions. Now let's build our first pivot table. To do that, you simply go to Insert, Pivot Table, and Excel would guess from the sheet uh, where is the data, and in here it guessed correctly. But if not, you can change that. And do you want the pivot table to be in a new worksheet or not? Here I say new worksheet. OK, so click OK. Now here's what you see. Well, not much of empty pivot table. And here are the fields. And th those are the fields on the right are for you to build. First of all, let's just try things. Uh, since we are to understand the sales trends for these items, why don't we just drag month to, let's say, row table. Now you can see that now we have three months of uh, columns here. Now, I want to understand the sales. That's the ultimate goal. So I just drag sales to this window here, value. Now, by default, it tells me the summation of sales in each uh, month. So you can see some data trends already. Now, to drill down a little bit, how about by items? Because just look at the data, there's not much variation here. Let's look at items. Now, where do we put item? How about we try column label, because it's empty here. Now you see what it does is basically put uh, the items in each column, okay? And now something interesting is showing up here. Now, if I could just basically do a um, uh, visual conditional formatting, nothing fancy here. You can see that even though the the sales of of the two items are pretty stable over a month, actually for each product, they are experiencing very different trends. For Azure, it is displaying a, a increasing trend. And for Peach, it's ever decreasing. So if you bundle these two together, you can look at aggregate. Things seem to be pretty stable, but in fact, they are not. So now we basically answer the first question. OK, so what else can we do? We click in the table. Notice that we haven't answered the question about regions. Are there any systematic differences in terms of uh, which market they are in? OK, so at this point, you could try to put in column or rows. Let's try which one would help us understand better. OK, so well, probably we should uh, get rid of the conditional formatting first. So we clear rules, clear rule from select cells. Now just eyeballing the the uh, the data, we see there's a little bit of trend here. Okay. For Atlanta, so there's another way of building this. In order to, for us to see Atlanta for the three months, why don't we build region, we switch the region in month. Okay, so I just switch, drag it. Now what you can see here are pretty interesting. Let's see Atlanta 
for azure it is ever increasing and for peach is decreasing for boston azure is selling better and better for peach it, it seems to be weakening for chicago the same trend applies and uh, for peach the same decreasing trend uh, applies so this seems to suggest across all markets uh, these two products are having the divergence in terms of sales trends by doing this it, it really allows us to do the deeper insights analysis um, that is not possible without pivot table